Hey everybody, this is Kurt. Welcome to another week of Church at Home. This week, we are starting a brand new series from the book of Acts, A-C-T-S, not A-X, hi-ya, not that kind of Acts, A-C-T-S. We're looking at the Holy Spirit and the role the Holy Spirit plays in our lives. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna learn a ton. We're calling it Power Up. We're so glad you're here. Speaking of Power Up, I'm about to power up my blender. Start a brand new homemade smoothie. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Power up, homemade smoothie, Holy Spirit. Let's do this thing. We're glad you're here. Power up, baby. Power up. Hi guys, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Tyler. I'm very, very excited to be hanging out with you guys during our new series as we learn about the apostles, the early church, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I'm working at home, as a lot of people are, and... Um... Okay. Um, it seems like I just lost power. Um which is a problem because I need to keep my camera charged so that I can make these videos for you guys. Okay, let's not panic. Okay, uh, we can figure this out. Uh, I'm gonna look up a repairman, an electrician, um, to see if they can fix this problem. Uh, and in the meantime, you guys check out this video and I will see you in a little bit. We can do this, we can figure this out. Welcome back guys and great job worshiping. When we sing our Bible verse like that, it reminds us that God's gift of the Holy Spirit is powerful and we can do things through the Holy Spirit that we would never be able to do ourselves. 
And speaking of powerful, while you guys were gone, I did a quick Google search to try to fix my power issue here. And I found some interesting options. I found some things like power walkers, power lifters, and oh, this one right here, power specialist. That one sounds pretty good. We, sh we should give that a call, but first, I want you guys to check out this video of our Bible story. And when we come back, we'll try to see if we can fix this power issue. See you soon. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, do you hear this? They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Wow, what an incredible story. Can you guys imagine at Pentecost actually seeing fire come down? That, that would just be incredible. What an awesome example of how powerful the Holy Spirit is. And don't forget, when we believe in Jesus and ask God to forgive our sins, we have access to that power as well. The Holy Spirit is our helper. Okay guys, I'm gonna give my friend Greg a call. He's a great handyman. I'm gonna see if he can help me out with this power issue because I gotta get my power back on. My phone's about to die, nothing's working. So let's see if Greg can help us out. Tyler, hey, how's it going, man? Hey Greg, how are you? Doing good, just a day off. I'm, I'm watching some YouTube tutorials on how to put in light bulbs. Oh, that's and awesome. Stuff. Yeah, 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 what's, what's going on? Oh yeah, not much. Just uh, I just I needed some help, so I wanted to give you a call. I uh, I was sitting here at my desk, and all of a sudden my power went out. Your, your power? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, Ty. Okay. Dude, you, you didn't tell me this 
was a power issue. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you okay. okay? No, I'm fine. I'm just I didn't think I'd be working today. All right, we're here. Oh. What can I do for you? So, wow. a whole power outage? Are we talking? Uh, we talking a whole house? The grid's gone? Yeah, I think I think for the most part, uh, everything in the I mean, the lights shut off, my desk shut off, everything. So. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm checking my apparatus right here so it looks i'm looking at your grid right now which isn't too far for me the whole thing's out oh wow so what you're gonna need to do you're gonna need to go down to the fuse box remove the fuse that's blown and replace it with a new one once that happens you'll be back up to full strength we're gonna get you up and running oh awesome so i just replace the fuse and then everything will go back it's gonna boost you right back awesome okay great yeah, that's so simple enough Perfect. And then just jump over to my website. You know what it is. Yeah. Um, and then it's three easy payments, eighty nine ninety. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. Anyway, thanks, Greg. So, I'm gonna run down to the fuse box and see if I can fix this issue that Greg just helped us out with. And in the meantime, you guys check out this video. Hi, I'm Greg, professional power hunter, and this is Power Up, the only show where we go hunting for power all over the globe. So come alongside me, my cameraman Dan, as we go on the hunt for power. Let's power up, let's go. Greg here, Palm Desert, California, here to study the sun. As you can see, I'm not wearing any shoes to really feel the heat that's coming down right now. The sun is at its peak and its rays are big. Now, I'm in a lot of pain here, as you can see. I do not recommend this for anyone at home, for power-up professionals only. Now, Dan, follow me. Ah, a lot of pain, Dan. These rocks are hurting. Here's the deal. These are what the locals are calling solar panels. They look like some type of contraption, but what their job is is to harness the power of the sun and create energy. So this is what we're going to do. On today's episode of Power Up, we're going to build our own solar panel. But before we do that, I need to get into the lab and really start studying the sun. Let's go, Dan. Ah! All right, so we're out here studying the sun. Lots of great observations being made. Now, the experts say that the sun has enough raw energy to cook an entire egg. Now, it wasn't until now that I believe them. You don't really realize how much energy the sun has until you're sitting in a chair, letting it hit you the whole day. And talk about extreme temperatures. I mean, I feel like I'm ready almost to whoa, pass whoa, out. Whoa. Greg, Greg, are you OK? No. I Oh. oh, that was a close call. Thanks, Dan. You know, the more I study the sun, the more I'm amazed with its power. You really gotta be careful out here. I almost just lost it to heat exhaustion. <laughs> but I'm back and I'm feeling good. Now here's a good study. According to Wikipedia, the sun is 92.4 million miles away. And even at that distance, it's still strong enough to generate power off of these solar panels. Now, I know this is hard to imagine, but the sun has enough power to melt an ice bridge two miles wide and one mile thick, extending the entire way from the Earth to the sun in one second. Think about that. The sun contains that much power. That's a 92 million mile ice bridge that can vanish in one second. That's more power than I can imagine. Can Is there anything that? that's more powerful than the sun? You know what, Dan? There is. There's one thing. Did you know that the Holy Spirit has an infinite amount of power? Yeah, the sun's amazing and it contains a lot of power, but it's nothing compared to the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is that one cool friend who's always there for you, lifts you up when you've fallen, and tells you that it's gonna be all right. Now, because of the Holy Spirit, we can do much more than we could ever imagine. So you might be saying, Greg, that sounds great, but where does the Holy Spirit come from? The Holy Spirit comes from up there. You know, God in heaven, he gave us the Holy Spirit. And that very first time that happened was on the day of Pentecost. When the Holy Spirit entered the believers' hearts, they were able to do amazing things, like super cool next level stuff. Now, fire appeared on their heads. They began to speak in other languages. Imagine actual real fire, like being able to roast marshmallows on its fire. 
and the languages they were speaking were languages from all over the world. This awesome thing God did helped spread the gospel. When other people around saw this happen, they realized it had to be from God because there was no way they could speak in other languages by their own power. So when Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit, he then had the courage to tell people about Jesus' love for them. The apostles continued to tell others about the good news of Jesus because the Holy Spirit made them feel brave enough to do so. The crazy thing to think about is that over 2,000 years later, we could be filled with the same Holy Spirit. Talk about getting power from the ultimate source. Whenever I'm feeling sad, scared, angry, or alone, I feel better knowing that the Holy Spirit has my back. So does everyone have the power of the Holy Spirit? No, you can only have that power after you ask Jesus into your heart. Jesus wants to be your friend, so much that he died on the cross for you. When we choose to follow Jesus, we'll be able to spend forever with him one day in heaven. By choosing to follow Jesus, by asking him to forgive your sins, you can choose to be a part of his family. Jesus loves you more than you could ever imagine. If you've never asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life, if you've never invited him into your life and asked him to be your savior, you'll have the opportunity today in a minute with your leader. Remember, Jesus loves you so much and is ready to be a part of your life and for you to belong to his family. When we're a part of his family, the Holy Spirit will give us power to do so much. And I love power. You know, all this talk about power is making me hungry. Dan, I got the perfect thing. Let's go. To the van. Dan, we got little time. So we got our official power up tables here and now's the time to put our homemade solar panel to the test. Here we go. Time to cook you some lunch, Dan. We're gonna hook up our cables directly to the solar panel. Boom and boom. Now we gotta transfer all that energy over to our cooking pan. Hook up the other side of the cables. Boom and boom. There we go. Step three, we got our trusty eggs. We're cooking you eggs for lunch, Dan. Right there, bam, and we crack that right in there. Now, we have it all set in motion. Now we're gonna let the sun do its job. There it is, it's highest temperature, highest heat. It's booming down onto the solar panel. Transfer all that energy into the cables. Through the cables, whoa, and onto the pan. We got an egg. It already cooked, Dan. Look at that. A perfectly cooked egg, just like we imagined. The solar panel worked. Now we just gotta eat that egg, Dan. Let's give some to you. No, 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 Greg, that's gross. I'm vegan. No. You don't eat eggs? No, no eggs. <sighs> we'll give it to the crow. We'll feed it to the crows later. But hey, that does it for us on this episode of Power Up. Remember, God is more powerful than the sun. And with the Holy Spirit in your hearts, you can do more than you could ever imagine. I'm Greg. We'll see you on the next episode of Power Up. Let's go, Dan. Guys, check it out. The power's back on. Greg was totally right. It was just a fuse box issue. Man, I'm so thankful I have a friend like Greg who could help us out like that. But anyway, back to our Bible story. When the Holy Spirit entered the hearts of those who believed, they were able to do incredible things like speak other languages from all around the world. And same with Peter. When he was filled with the Holy Spirit, he was given the courage to spread the good news of Jesus' love for everybody. And we have access to that same power through the Holy Spirit. Whether we're scared or confused or struggling with something, we have access to the power of the Holy Spirit who can help us through these things. And I think that is awesome. So, if you think that's awesome too and you're getting pumped up, I think it's time for this week's Power Challenge. Now, this, week, this week's Power Challenge is going to be pretty tough, but it makes it more fun and easier if you can get your friends and family involved too. This week's power challenge is to do 10 whole push-ups. Now, I gotta admit, during this stay at home time and all this, I've been slacking a little bit, okay? The gyms are closed and things like this. And so I have been slacking a little bit on my fitness, so to speak. So this one's gonna be tough for me, but to make it a little easier if you need to, you can do push-ups on your knees, but 10 push-ups, okay? Let's see if you can do it. I'm gonna give it a try, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Okay.